he sacado mi muela de juicio. Me duele todo. Me duele existir. Me duele mi cachete. Ya se me hinchó. Mi estabilidad mental depende de Netflix. I look hideous. My face is so swallowed from my wisdom tooth removal. And to be fair, it still hurts. And I have blood here, here. And I'm still bleeding internally. In my mouth, I mean. I'm also bleeding from my eyes still from the surgery. And also, my period decided to arrive. So I'm bleeding down there too. I've been dealing with the Norwegian student permit requirement these past few days and recovering from my wisdom tooth surgery and from my eye surgery. Right, I have to put on my drops. See, almost forgot. And just the more I'm leaving through all these recoveries and all these um, documents I have to collect to do my freaking application for the permit and deciding where to go, where to travel to send my documents because I don't know if I told you guys this but on the page it said I had to attend physically to the office in Chile but now they're also giving me the option to do it in Argentina or Colombia or Brazil so I'm trying to find out what's more convenient to me in terms of prices uh, and also time I seriously, the more I deal with these things and my recovery and health things, the more I'm like more sure that I made the right decision quitting my job when I did because I was not going to be able to deal, with, to deal with all of this while being so stressed in my work and so freaking depressed. My depression has been gotten way better very fast and maybe it's also just the adrenaline and also that I've had kind of like forcefully made myself rest recovering from all the surgeries and all the stuff and that just feels like self-care and my body really needed that I was feeling very guilty the first days of April just feeling like I was doing nothing I was not being productive and then I came across this TikTok that <laughs> just explained it to me so well and it was from a psychologist or a therapist and I am also a psychologist but sometimes I need to hear these things from other people to actually internalize it and it said sometimes you can't confuse that feeling with laziness and that you're not being productive and shit when in reality your body has been acting out of trauma, out of the adrenaline and has been on this fight or flight mode for so long and that's really what get me through work every single day like the, the fact that i was constantly thinking i gotta survive i gotta survive i gotta make it another day it was truly my body being fueled by anxiety and trauma and being scared so now that i don't have that of course my body's gonna be tired and it's gonna be in like this post-traumatic mode in which i'm like no longer fighting to survive every day as my body's like i can finally relax like i can finally escape that fight or flight survival mode yeah anyways i can completely reaffirm i made the right choice by quitting when i did and a friend of mine actually made a cake for me um to celebrate that i made that decision It's curious because um, two of my closest friends also quitted their jobs for mental health reasons. This day, like, well, one of them yesterday and one of them today. 
I feel like we truly are a generation of changes. Like, we will prioritize our health and mental health, because it's part of your physical health too, if you ask me. We'll put that in front of any job and any amount of money sometimes, because yes, we need money to survive, but if you don't have health, then what the hell are you doing? I don't know, maybe it's because we lived through the pandemic, maybe it's because we've been taught how important health is and mental health is gaining more and more awareness in this world but i feel like more people in our generation are finally prioritizing that and prioritizing family time and experiences other than just being a slave at a corporation that doesn't really care about you and try and escalate your way in um and not really living I'm not saying nine to five corporate jobs are for anyone. People like them and people truly find joy in that. And that's fine. What I'm saying is not all of us have to. And that is not the idea of success. All people have, definitely not mine. So yeah, that's what I've been thinking lately. And if I feel better tomorrow though, I do want to talk about different subject but that really resonates with me and every time I see articles about this I question my path in life I've always wanted to be a mom I've always want to have want to have like a little boy and a little girl for my family and stuff but every time I see this climate change climate crisis that's the appropriate term topic emerge and every time is more and more worrying. I'm just doubting if I want to bring another person into this world. Like I can adopt and stuff um, to fulfill my need and want to nurture and take care of a kid. But I don't know if I want to bring another soul into this planet. I might be a bit selfish. And so what I want to do tomorrow, if I wake up with the energy and the mindset to do it and not in pain, um, I want to show you guys around my house and let you know what kind of practices to try and have the less impact in this planet we do at my home. That's something I really like from Norway, that recycling and this climate crisis awareness is basically implemented by the government, whereas here it's just very rare. So yeah, maybe I'll do that. For now, I'm just gonna go rest. I am very tired. I was only waiting for it to be almost midnight to take my pills and go to sleep. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Four months still in Norway. I still don't know where I'm gonna go do my visa permit thing. And just a lot of doctor's appointments still pending. See you guys. Thank you so much for being here and hearing me and i feel so supported and i really love you guys i don't know what my life would look like without this vlog and a sense of community that really really makes me feel like i'm not alone and i'm just happy <laughs> i'm just happy you guys are here for me through all of this this whole month has felt like me resting in bed because i am recovering from something just like mental health issues and my eye surgery and not my food wisdom surgery but i knew april was a month of taking care of myself and in may things will change but i wouldn't have been able to do all of this without you guys and without the support so thank you genuinely from the bottom of my heart okay i'll see you guys later bye